This episode of I Collect is brought to you by Limited Supply, the one-stop shop for sneakers and apparel in New Brunswick, New Jersey, located right across the street from Rutgers University. Stay tuned to the end of the episode to find out more about this Jersey gym. What's going on world? Brand new episode of I Collect there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here in Beijing, China. Yes, Beijing with my man, Sinji. I'm speechless because you're about to see something incredible, something that you've never seen before. My guy, Shinji has one of the best collections that I've ever seen. I'm a Kobe Bryant fan. He's a Kobe Bryant fan, and yep. he has the greatest Kobe Bryant collection I've ever seen in my entire life. Thank you. <laughs> What's going Welcome on? Welcome to Beijing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now tell me where we are, where we're standing right now. We are right here in Beijing. I started this place called Xinjie Sneaker Zoom. The word was my name, Xinjie and Museum. We have three display rooms here. Today, we're gonna mainly share my Kobe collection, but next time when you come in, you may see something different. Right. Every time you come in, you will see something different. I guarantee you guys. Yeah, and so you plan on creating a sneaker museum, is what you said. So basically a place where people can come and just check out some of the greatest collections in the world. Yeah, because I've been collecting since I was 11 mm -hmm. and basketball and, and sneakers, especially PEs, brought me a lot of like happiness. Yeah. I was like, I'm happy and I want to make everybody happy. Yeah. So why don't we just share these so that every sneaker lover, every basketball fan can come in and we can have a little chat about these stuff. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Now, before we go into one of these three rooms, explain what this courtyard means and, and how it's it's very important to Beijing. This courtyard is called a Sihoyuan. I couldn't find a proper translation in English. It's a very traditional kind of Chinese courtyard. Mostly they're all in Beijing. And I live in Boston. I've been in America for a few years, but I'm also Chinese. I try to put these two cultures together. Right, right. So there you have it. This will be the first sneaker collection you'll see in a courtyard. Yep. And like I said, man, get ready, get ready. Let's go check it out. So as you can see now we're in the main room. That's what we call that. We came up with a design of these shelves and glass. I talked to the, the company that made these glasses. Mm -hmm. They call these museum level glass. Because right. if, if you use regular glass, it won't be this clear. And you know, we had a hard time cleaning the floor, cleaning every piece of the glass. But I, th I think it looks pretty good now. I mean, yeah. I, like I said, I've never seen a sneaker collection housed in a courtyard. It's amazing. I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start. I'm seeing jerseys, I'm seeing PEs, IDs. Let's kind of actually start here. This is actually one of the most special pair, not even just in the sneakers in, in my entire collection. I've never seen another pair of these came up, like anywhere. So these are the Nike Hyperdown. Game issued, prepare for him to wear in the 08 at the Olympics in the finals. But I heard they gave him the wrong shoes, so he wore the record release version. On the town, you see the gold stuff. You guys probably cannot read it. On this shoe, it says August 23rd, 1978. On the other shoe, it says August 23rd, 2008. That's actually his 30th birthday. What's special is that I share the same birthday with Kobe Bryant, so I feel like they put my birthday on it. <laughs> so it's safe to say he's your favorite player. Yeah, ever. he is, yeah. like ever. Yeah, we, well, we share that, I, yeah. he's my favorite when I, player. When I was little, I tried to steal his moves. I mean, I like every basketball player. I respect them, I learn from everybody, but Kobe is someone that's so special to me. He influenced me a lot since I was very, very young. Now let's actually get into some of the rare pairs that you have in here. I really love these two pairs in my collection. Both of these pairs are game worn. These were worn in the respective games of the ring ceremonies. I mean, he wore these pairs when he received those two rings, 09 and 2010. And this pair is pretty special. Like one shoe was promo tech and the other shoe was just GR tech. Sometimes you wore GRs as well, I think. And these are the throwback Lakers colorway. 
game worn and signed PEs. Now, how do you come across some of these? Like I said, these are super exclusive game worn. I started collecting when I was 11. You build up like connects and you always find out new ways to come across PEs. And sometimes I do feel like they actually came to me. So here we go. This is what we're gonna do. Yep. Every room, because we have three of them. I want you to show me the 10 pairs that you can't do without in each room. We're gonna count them down. So it's hard for me to pick out 10 pairs, but <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> okay. So the first one has to be this pair, Beijing Olympics. Some people say these are one of one, but I'm not exactly sure. But since it has Kobe's birthday, AKA my birthday, it's special to me. And the second pair I had to go was these ones. I remember I was, 15, I was watching the finals and I was like, what was he wearing? It's so attractive. So I wasn't expecting like years later, I actually came across one of these game worn pairs he wore in the finals. I love Kobe, but back then I wanted him to get another ring so bad and he made it. He signed these and he also put like finals MVP on the other shoe. I like this design though. <laughs> <laughs> and these three pairs had to be included. Okay. These two nines and the sevens. Okay. I, so three, four, five. Yeah. Everybody loves Jordan. And I love Kobe. When they actually made PEs for Kobe, a lot of collectors would want to have these. I was lucky enough to come across these when they had number eight and number 23 together. So let's As go with number six. Five. Number six has to be the purple and gold and white questions. He still had the record of making 12 threes until Steph Curry broke that. But Steph Curry broke that game as an overtime. This was the exact pair. Game worn, PEs, where he played against Supersonics and drained 12 threes. Let me ask you this. Give me your top three Kobe moments. The first one for me has to be the three point and one point against Spain. Beijing Olympics. I'm a Beijinger. Also, the second one has to be the moment he beat the Boston Celtics in 2010. I feel like I betrayed Boston. I'm a Boston <laughs> kid. I lived in Boston for so long, but I still love Kobe. That was his fifth ring. That was hard. We went to a game seven and Last one, I'll go with 81. We're talking about Kobe, to me, 81 points is maybe the first thing that came to my mind. Switch it. Too hard. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's get to number seven. I would still pick something that's related to China. So let's go with those A's. These were supposed to be one of those China game worn pair. He wore these, but he didn't play that game. He came out to warm up in, these, in this exact pair. And that was one of those game balls. It was hard to see. It says NBA Global Games at the bottom. So this set is pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah. We are in China. Let's talk about something that's related. Exactly. This was the back pair he wore in the All-Star game. I like the design. I wore one of these pairs. I didn't feel comfortable, but I still like the look and the signature look different than what he signs right now. So it's part of the history as well. Number nine. Oh, these all black ace. That was the first time we saw Kobe ace. They probably just came out and Nike didn't want people to see what it looks like. This was the pair he wore against Kyrie Irving when he was still on the Cavs. These are pretty special too. It's a promo sample and I didn't see another pair around. Definitely. Now tell me about the first time you saw the nine. This pair is the one that all of us first saw Kobe nine. I was like, is he wearing some boxing shoes and stuff. I never seen basketball shoes look like that. And that's a wear test sample. The exact pair he wore in practice when he was still rehabbing. That pair was super rare. That's the rarest nine possibly. I'll just put that as number 10. Now I'll get into a few more before we head to the next room. You have to explain these and one Kobe's over here. Tell me about those for sure. I have a little setup right here. These are three pairs of Ant One sneakers. We don't usually relate Ant One with Kobe, but when he left Adidas, like a lot of brands were trying to attract him, so they made PEs for him. These are three pairs made for him in Lakers colorway. If you take a look at the tag closely, it says Kobe on it. They're all size 14. And these questions were made for that purpose too. And those shocks and that pair, I don't know whether everybody loves them, but it's part of the sneaker history, I would say. Something pretty important. 
Now, you being a, a Boston guy, yep. you've been living in Boston for six years. You become a big Isaiah Thomas fan, even though he doesn't play for the team anymore. Yeah. But he was very impactful while he was there. For sure. I love basketball. I'm a player myself. Most of the time, I'm, I'm an undersized point guard as well. Isaiah been through a lot. Mm -hmm. He was injured. I was injured. He inspired me. In some ways, he also encouraged me. So I have a little Isaiah Thomas set up right here. This is the colorway he scored 53 points. Also, uh, talking about Boston, this pair is pretty special. I don't usually collect custom sneakers, but this pair is a must for me. Yeah. That's a Scary Terry game worn pair. When he wore that, I saw them on TV. It was like, it's crazy. When I actually had a chance to, to come up with them, I didn't even think twice. Negotiate. Yeah. Right? I don't even negotiate. And then I could see you have one where Isaiah dedicated to his sister. His little sister. This pair was game worn when he was on the Cavs. And that's a Lakers PE number three. Next time when you come in, you definitely see more Isaiah Thomas. So we have some pretty special PEs in like every section. We have these purple Kobe A's war against the Rockets. Up here, we got these Parade Fives, Lonzo Ball game worn ACM 10s, and these Kobe game worn Air Force One PEs, and those Academy 2s. This may be one of the special pairs. This pair was made for him when he scored the most point as a Laker player. We got these game worn Chaos Fives, Sam Poles, Kyrie's, that was game worn on Memba Day, and a full set of Chaos PE's fours and sixes. The sixes are game worn, and Shannon Brown fives, and these special foams, special weird Kobe five samples, and these signed Back to the Future Hyperdunk PE's and Kobe four Back to the Future samples. Now, there is one pair of LeBrons in here. You know, some people that like LeBron don't like Kobe and vice versa. But what is the significance of the pair of LeBrons here? We're trying to show Kobe today, right? Yeah. You may think I made a mistake by putting these here. But we all saw that picture of Kobe signing a pair of LeBrons for a little girl in his camp, right? And this is the exact pair. People talk about that. Some people praise Kobe for that. There's a great story behind this. And that's the exact pair in that picture. You won't see this anywhere else. So we came up with this special design. I wanted to make it look like a locker. So there goes some game worn jerseys signed as well. And take a look at this set. This is one of my most special set. We all saw him wearing these PE with Hyper Dunk Upper and Kobe Force uh, soles. I heard the story that Nike tried to give him a little bit of time to transform from Hyper Dunk to Kobe Force. So these are what they made for him. These are pretty hard to come across, although they're not the only set. Also, a lot of people have seen these, but not a lot of people have these. These are the flat Kobe 2s, and they made these for 911. Mm -hmm. I mean, th th that's so special for me. I read a lot of history. I'm a history lover. I want no war, and I love peace. So these are very important. So that's pretty much it for this main room, which is room number one. Let's head to the Western room, which is room number two. So here we go. Now we're in the second room. A lot more Kobe's right here, as you can see. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's go. 10 more. I had to start with this pair. Nike actually released this version, but this is the real Kobe 81 points PE. It's the same exact colorway, exact thing as he wore in that specific game. These are the 81 pairs that Nike released a year later to celebrate the one year anniversary of the 81 point game. So they made 81 pairs. Every, every pair was size 14 and they have 81 on the town instead of the star. Since there are only 81 pairs, they're super rare, but you can see nine pairs over there. And why nine? Um, I actually have more than this, but Chinese people love the number nine. It sounds like a Chinese word, which means like something will last longer. Number two, I have to go with these, the China exclusive sixes, but these are the PE version. It looks a little different. The upper unreleased version I remember was a little more silver, but this is a little wider. This one's special to me. Number three, I'll go with this set, the Kobe Knight uh, NRGs. The release version are rare enough, and the, the, I remember the price was pretty high. 
these are the exact pairs he wore in practice. There was a promo tag. This one was the one people saw in the videos of him rehabbing, dribbling. Four, I have to go with these undefeated. I love undefeated Jordan 4s, so you'll see them later. And when they came out with these friends and families, I thought I had to get them. I think I'll go with these 2K4s, still autographed, and that's the 2004 Olympics PE. I have the white and gold version. It's somewhere at my home. you see them <laughs> next time, I guarantee you. All right. He didn't actually play in that Olympics, but right. thankfully he, he played in, in Beijing in 2008. But I'll go with these Rice High School ones. In terms of PEs, they are not that rare, but a DS pair is rare enough. I'm a Boston guy. I love green stuff and I love bright colors, but so this is a must have for me. Next one, I'll go with these. I haven't seen anybody that doesn't like Air Force Ones. And I like Kobe. These are a special uh, denim friends and family PEs, Air Force One. You see the logo right here, made for him. So the A's and 9's pair, I have to go with these two. The Kobe 9 Christmas ones. This was a released version, but this was the exact pair he should have worn if he was not injured. So these are Promotech PEs. And this pair is a look-see sample of this version. You see the little color material difference on there. Number 10, I'll go with this game worn Kobe 3's MVP. To me, he's the most valuable player of all time, maybe. He's my favorite, he's always my MVP. So I had to go with this. Now, so, I have a question. Why is it that Kobe is so beloved in China? It seems to me that he's more beloved than Michael Jordan here. Why do you think that is? Yeah, Kobe is a special player in China. He has a lot more fans than all other players. I guess it's maybe just, he's so skillful. His game is just too beautiful to watch. It's like, if, even if you don't know about basketball, when you only watch that once, he's the one that attracts you. I, that, that's my guess. I'm trying to figure that out as well. Yeah. When the pre loop pack came out, I was about the entire pack. On this play here are the ones I have that are autographed. I have one through five sign. And this pair is pretty special. This is a pair of Kobe ASP made for WNBA player Chrissy Tolliver. I also have a signed picture and a piece of sign for to make it a set. And these are the MVP dunks. As I said, Kobe is an MVP. And he also autographed these. I think these are pretty rare today. And this pair is a pretty special Kobe 11 PEs made for him. On the back, they have a Chinese word. If you translate that, it means persistence. His persistency really inspired me. I was injured as well. I've been through a lot of tough times. I learned that from him, that member mentality. If I wasn't persistent like him, I shouldn't be here today. So these sections are, are some of the sets I put together. If you look down there, they call that butterfly colorway or something. I'm not exactly sure. I just really like them. These are two signed game worn pairs, home and away. You see those Warashis, PEs, game worn and signed. They're very old, but it's hard to come across these in this condition right now. And for this plaque, it was released in NBA Store China. If you look closer, it's 32 out of 500 to celebrate his 2007 to 2008 season MVP. My parents gave this to me as a birthday gift. That's all the Colby's for this room, but let's head into the next room right now, but we'll come back for a little more surprise. So now we're in the third room, which is the East room. Let's go through more Colby's. So started off, I have to go with these two pairs. Nike had a pack of these, but these are not from the pack. These are the extra PEs made back in the day. These are the threes in the Lakers colorway, size 14, formal tag. And this one is a little more special, game more and sign. Number three, I'll go with these, Air Jordan 3s, True Blue. First of all, I really like this colorway. And these are the exact pair he wore in 2003 All-Star Games, which was Michael Jordan's last All-Star ever. That was the exact game worn pair, worn by Kobe. Number four, I'm a big lover of Kobe 4s. These are actually Nike IDs, game worn by him. He wore these against the OKC Thunders. This was the exact pair he wore when he scored his 16,000th point. Number five, let's go with these. 
I still go with another pair of Kobe 4s. These are the Breeze Cancer of Kobe 4s. I love the idea of Nike that brings in the Breeze Cancer awareness. I think people should pay attention to that. And when I actually talked to Kobe, I picked this pair as well. He really liked them. Hyper Dunk. You see the white Brian on there? That's a special P you made for him. He wore this colorway in the first game of the Beijing Olympics against China. I had that game more pair. I brought them out a few years ago when Nike still had the sneaker battle. Uh, number seven. Big stage fives. Finals game worn by Shannon Brown and signed by Kobe. This is a great colorway only for the finals. How about one more pair of Air Force One to make for Kobe? See the sign worn by Kobe and see the white logo over there. Air Force Ones are always fresh oh, yeah. to me. Those little small Kobe 11 wear test samples. It had no logo on there. If you look closer, it has like numbers written on it. I saw that on every pair of like wear test samples. These are GRs, not PEs, but game more signed by Kobe. We photo matched these to the game he played against the Grizzlies. He made a buzzer beater in these. So those were the 10, but there are a few more that worth mentioning in this episode. So those are the Air Maxes given to like Nike athletes in 2007, Las Vegas All-Stars. That pair was the Kobe's pair. And these, the Kobe 3s, they were not released. I, I heard that Kobe didn't like them, but this model didn't even come out. So I gotta have them. And those are the retro Adidas ones made for Gilbert Arenas. I heard that he was a Kobe fan. We mentioned earlier that after this third room, we will go back to the second room. We have a surprise, so let's go check that out. I really love Kobe, and we've already shared a lot of Kobe stuff, PE, signed pairs, game boards. The special surprise I have today it's part of my Jordan collection. I mean, everybody loves Jordan. We set up this section to show you a few of them. So let's start off with this pair right there. Those are not Air Jordan 1s. Those are the original game-worn airships signed by Michael. But that was signed later. That was like where it all started, even before the 1s. On the side, we see two pairs of Eminem 4s. Eminem is special to me. I listen to a lot of his songs, especially when I first came to America. This is a pretty impressive set. These two tents and this jersey, number 45. And this is a game issue number 45 jersey signed by Michael Jordan. These are two game worn set. Home and away with 45 on the shoes. You can see the original PEs. It looks slightly different from the release version. And down there, Air Jordan 10 as well. This is OG with the original signature. And this is the one with the different toe box. I have to put these two pairs here. Kawhi Leonard. First of all, I really like Kawhi Leonard. He doesn't talk. He really focuses on what he does. I like his game. I like his personality. I know that he has some sort of like disagreement, some issues with Nike about that logo. The, that was a cool logo. And down there is a pair of Game War Air Jordan 18s. Up here are two pairs of undefeated fours. And these are the ones that they produced in 2017. And those are the old ones that are signed as well. If we look at this side, you see some Game Worn 11s. These are some old shoes as well. I heard that MJ lifted in these and 13 OG PEs, bread colorway. And these are the old Air Jordan 1 China exclusive, the X2. I didn't get a chance to get the new ones, but I thought it. I'm pretty good with these signed outwear. These 12s are game worn as well, but signed by the entire Bulls team. We love MJ, but we had to admit that MJ was not the only legend on the team. And these are a pretty special sample with the Jordan on the, on the lace locks. That is pretty amazing, pretty amazing. You have much more, right? Yeah, much more than this. Next time when you come in, you'll see something different. Different yeah. Kobe's and different Jordans. Definitely, for definitely. Sure. Definitely, definitely. Now, Shinji, this is amazing collection so far. I know we're gonna see part two. We'll come back out, we'll do a part yeah. two for sure. But I know you have a special message for Kobe Bryant himself, right? Yeah, we've seen a lot of Kobe's today and Kobe is my favorite player since I was little. So now by this episode, I wanna send out an official invitation to Kobe. Kobe, I want you to be here. 
I want you to visit Shinji Sneakers Zoo. I will be waiting for you right here. Awesome, awesome. Well, Shinji, thank you so much, man, thank for you. inviting us out. Uh, again, amazing collection. One of the best ones I've ever seen. Thank you. I hope you like this. Oh, man, I love it. From the presentation to the shoes themselves. Um, I, I mean, it's amazing, man. Speechless. Oh, glad, Speechless. Glad that you guys like it. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Until next time, your host, George Kill. Now, Willie told us from the perspective of, of an owner with Rutgers right there, but you actually go to Rutgers. From a student aspect, what does it mean to have limited supply right here, right by the university? This store is probably like the coolest store around. It's not like a regular Foot Locker or a regular, you know, Kicks USA or something like that. I think just the selection in general makes it stand out alone. The implementation of clothing with the Supreme gear and the Hype gear makes it 10 times better.